assalamu alaikum my dear students i hope all of you are fine and doing well and uh, in our today's video we will discuss about the introduction to the analytical chemistry and this topic is new to you that what does mean by the analytical chemistry so we will have a look on this basically analytical chemistry it is the branch of chemistry in which we can analyze the data basically it is known as the science of chemical characterization science of chemical characterization now what does mean by this chemical characterization a complete chemical characterization of a compound or any substance for example we have any substance and we don't know anything about this and how we can check the nature how we can check the type how we can be able to check the number of atoms molecules its mass and etc a lot of things that we need to know about any substance we can check it only by the use of the branch of chemistry that is known as analytical chemistry analytical chemistry to mean analyze something when we are going to analyze something we have to work a lot over it so analytical chemistry has many branches along with it we can analyze the food by the use of analytical techniques we can check the environmental quality weather about the weather it also relates to the industry the production or the methods and the different things that we use in the industry it also related to the space science that how the different things are going to be work we can also check it by the use of analytical chemistry it also relates to the medicine that what will be the effect of medicine what will be the formula of the medicine what will be the main reactant ingredients what will be the side reaction for this medicine it is also having its uses in the forensic that we have to check in which we analyze the fingerprints we analyze the different food items we analyze the different things and at the end we have also its work on the archaeology archaeology mean to analyze the ancient things or the buried things that are too much old so we can also analyze different things by the use of the analytical chemistry so this is the very broad branch of the chemistry next there are types of analysis we have basically two types the number one we have qualitative analysis and the second one we have quantitative analysis as the first one is qualitative analysis so it is related to the quality of the substance on the other hand we have quantity analysis or it is known as quantitative analysis it is related to the quantity of the substance so by definition qualitative analysis gives an indication of the identity of the chemical species in the sample that what are the main samples or the main species of the given substance there and in quantitative analysis will determine the amount concentration of one or more of the components in the sample so here we have the word amount amount mean the quantity that we will measure that how much that compound is present for example if we have a solution of alcohol that is ethanol c2h5oh and mixed up with the water then how we can be able to check the percentage of the alcohol so for that purpose we have to use some analytical techniques to measure that so this is the two types of the analysis qualitative and quantitative we can also um, identify the chemical species present in it and we can also measure the amount of the components of the substance 
next we have different analytical techniques of separation for example if we have any sample that is in impure form then how we can get the pure form from it so for this purpose we can use different analytical techniques from which the first one is the filtration in filtration we use the filter paper to remove these solid impurities and in crystallization there is the formation of the crystals of pure substance and uh, sublimation it is basically a chemical change that happens as the physical state of the substance changes and the last one is the solvent extraction in solvent extraction basically we use the solvent to extract the solute particles so that's why it is known as the solvent extraction so the solvent is used to extract the solute from the previous one so this is mainly done for the liquids and filtration it is done for the solids sublimation is a simple process in which solid is converted into the gas and the crystallization from the impure substance we gain the pure substance in the form of crystals so this is a simple process of analytical techniques of the separation i hope you guys understand about the analytical chemistry and in the next lesson we will discuss about the filtration that is the first one technique in detail for that time you guys have a good day and keep learning in a better way thank you so much